Morning, everybody. There is some uh, breaking news. Rod Rosenstein. Oh, shit, man. It's going down. Rod Rosenstein is resigning. So I'm going to go here to uh, Axios real quick, um, who uh, says, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein has now verbally resigned to Chief of Staff John Kelly in anticipation of being fired by President Trump. According to a source with direct knowledge, per a second source with direct knowledge, he's expecting to be fired, so he plans to step down. Oh, shit. So you know what this means. So this is basically uh, based on the reports from the New York Times. You covered that on earlier, uh, where he's alleged to have brought up invoking the 25th Amendment, right? And wearing a wire to Trump meetings. So that's reported. Uh, now, a lot of people are like, you know what? That might have been uh, something planted by Trump people in order to get Rod Rosenstein to either resign, which he just did, or so that he gets fired, which also would have happened if he had not resigned. So look, all this, you have to understand, is a way to get Rosenstein out of the picture, you get Rosenstein out of the picture, you can appoint another deputy attorney general who can then possibly fire Mueller and replace him with someone else. So that's what's going on here. So this is, this is a way to try to get rid of Mueller and get rid of the Mueller investigation. Donald Trump hates that investigation. And so if, if this happens, if like this is the to me, it seems like it's the, the tipping point here, right? Trump, I mean, look, here's another thing. I was going to report on this uh, earlier today. Um, so Donald Trump uh, basically wanted to um, get, like, advice on whether he should fire Mueller or not, or I'm sorry, not Mueller or not, Rosenstein or not, uh, from TV hosts. TV hosts were telling him, even Hannity, was like, don't do it. Do not fire Rosenstein because you're going to create an enormous amount of problems. Well, guess what? He was going to anyway. You know why? Because he's like, oh, TV guys, you know what? Turns out, fuck you guys because I know that I did it. That's the thing. He knows. Like, he knows things that Sean, obviously, that Sean Hannity doesn't know. Yeah, there's a lot of things that Sean Hannity doesn't know because Sean Hannity's an idiot. So... But, but the overall point is here, right, is that this is an attempt to stop the Mueller investigation because Donald Trump is incredibly worried about what the Mueller investigation is going to find. So he's like, we got to get rid of this guy. Now we have the ability to get rid of this guy because he said nasty things about me to the New York Times, which, of course, Rosenstein denies. He's like, no, I didn't say that. I didn't invoke the 25th Amendment. Uh, no, no, I'm not one of those adults in the room that might have written the op-ed. And that's the other thing. Did he write the op-ed or not? We don't know who written, who wrote the op-ed. Chances are, the information, if Rosenstein actually wrote that op-ed, then he would come out after resigning and saying, I did it. Now, if he did not write the op-ed, then the person who did is still in the administration. And that also was a very interesting development. So this is insanity times two. Or maybe times three. I don't know. I don't know. But insanity has ensued. There is panic in the control room, or at least in the Oval Office. And everything is related to the investigation is basically hanging by a thread. Is he going to fire Mueller next? Whoever whoever he puts in charge. And, and by the way, Deputy Attorney General, right? Important position. Especially since Jeff Sessions has recused himself. So, look. Who he puts there? You imagine. Deputy Attorney General Rudy Giuliani. Ugh. Or whoever. Deputy Attorney General Chris Christie. Or Deputy Attorney General... Well, I was going to say Omarosa, but... Eh, she's out. <laughs> so who does he have left to a point? 
I don't know, man. Again, this is uh, this is interesting. This is this is the the tipping point here, um, and I don't know what's going to happen. Will this lead to a constitutional crisis? No idea. But uh, I mean, whatever happens, it's going to be huge. So stay tuned. I'll report on this probably later today when there's more details that come out. Um, that's going to be very interesting. Sorry about that. Uh, currently holding a phone right here. Hold the phone, guys. Um, so, yeah, I'll report on that later on today with the normal show. And uh, we've also got a lot of, a lot more stories planned today. Uh, that's 3 p.m. right here, TYT Nation, Round the Nation with me. Uh, so tune in, guys. It's going to be fascinating. All right. How the fuck do you turn this off? <laughs>